Welcome back to Meshman Studio. My name is Peter Overstein, and today we're going to take a look at merge nodes here in this node graph fundamentals chapter. So yeah, what's merge nodes? We already looked at it last episode, so why look at it again? And if you missed that one, there is a link in the description. So yeah, I want to take a look at merge nodes because there is a few other things here that we need to understand and cover. Mainly, it's about color management for merge nodes. So so before further ado, let's jump into it now. Okay, so before we dive into the node graph, I want to take a look here at some concepts that we need to understand. So I created three different channels here because we need to reference this and uh, so we can see the problem. You see I have a 16-bit, I have an 8-bit uh, color and an 8-bit scalar here. If I go to my 16-bit here, for example, first off, go to my layers and I create a layer here and see what happens. Now, up here in the corner, we have this green little arrow. So this is advanced blending options. So this is usually you don't really go in here that often. There's a few hidden uh, settings here that actually expose in the nodes when you build it in a node graph that you need to understand. So you can see here color space enabled is set to disabled. So what's this all about. Uh, we can come into that soon here. I just want to see here how does it look here when I take an 8-bit color here. So it doesn't set here. It's an sRGB. Let's go to my layers and let's create a layer here and see what happens here. It's enabled. So okay. And let's uh, see what happens on the 8-bit scalar. Uh, so this one is 8-bit scalar. Let's go to layer. Let's create a layer and see here and it's disabled. So why is this and why does it matter? When you create something using channels here, we have a few uh, color space options that's dictated by the channel node. But when you build something in the node graph, you build nodes on their own and you don't have a channel node really because you can build loose nodes and this will become a problem when you start to blend scalar and normal maps mainly. So using 16-bit and almost everything under the hood is essentially linear and uh, already in a float value so it's linearized by Mari under the hood so let's take a look here what we can do here using the no graph to blend so this is my channels here looking here at my 16-bit here looking at the merge node here you can see it's disabled here uh, this one is enabled this one is disabled Let's create a merge node on its own. When I create a merge node uh, by default in Mari, you see here the color space enabled is set to enabled. The problem that we can illustrate is if, if I here take my, go back to my, say, the, my scalar channel here, if I flat shade this, let's say that I uh, create gray constant. It's uh, just a, a gray value here. Let's create this two times gray constant. So I have these two times. I now set here my contrast and overlay. So overlay is one of these blending modes where this one will be evident if it goes wrong. So this one works. If you come from Photoshop, if you have 2.5 values and set overlay, you are expecting them to actually don't do anything on the mid value. So that's correct. But let's take a look here now and see what happens if I do the same here using this created here, my merge node. So let's create a gray constant here in the node graph. By default, my merge node here is set to base and over. So looking at this through my merge node and go to my contrast and say overlay and see what happens. And you see here in on my merge node here in the node graph, my 50% gray value using overlay is not behaving as in the channel node. So this is one main difference. It's because of this color space enabled. It needs to be set disabled. This is something that's not set by default because this is dictated by the channel node. You see here now it's actually behaving correctly. So this is something that Jens Kaffitz from Extension Pack actually added a setting for in the Extension Pack. If you don't have Extension Pack, you have to set this manually. But what I do here, I go to no graph and say, set color space enabled 
I set it to disable there, I just untick it. So now every time I create a merge node, you can see here, it's set to disabled. So if I now use this, it will work. If I set this contrast overlay, it works. So that's cool. That's a bit of a problem there when you have it to enabled when you create your own merge nodes. Another uh, example of this, scalar values. You wanna set it to disabled. And also, for example, let's say that you have normal map. So let's take this two times here and just drag it in two times. I set one to repeat like three times or something. So we have, let's say we have this and we have, and now we wanna mix these two. Let's uh, first see here how it will look like when it doesn't work. So by default now, this one is actually set correct. So now I have to override it and set this to that one and this one over. And now here on the merge node, I wanna go here into my blending mode here and set it to normal map, mix reorient. This is a way to blend two normal maps together. And you can see here now, if I look here on my merge node using the one button here to look at this node, you can see here, it doesn't look at all like a normal map would look like. This is what not what I expect when I blend these two together. Set this to disabled if you're using vanilla Mari for this. And now it actually, is working as expected. So that's a caveat working with the merge nodes that you need to be aware of. It's a bit different. I, I guess the blending modes themselves are the same as when you work in layers. It's just these two cases when you have scalar data and using the vanilla nodes, not having this set to disabled will actually be a bit of a problem. Uh, other than that, it's the same as in layers. All of the blending modes are the same you see here. Uh, so yeah, masking, take a look at masking as well here. The mask input is just uh, a way to, uh, if I would have a paint node here, you can, uh, so paint with white now will reveal painting with black, hit the X and will take away. Okay, so that's a bit about the difference between the layer system and the node graph when you create merge nodes and what you have to look out for, especially when blending scalar and normal maps. I'm gonna link in the description to a playlist and also now in the corner so you can see when I add more episodes regarding this node fundamentals. If you wanna support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. See you on the channel, bye bye.